Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade. You may have already downloaded the centre map update. It arrived more or less on time. I think it ended up being about 40 minutes late on Art Survival Ascended. So what do you think so far? Have you managed to get on an official server? It looks like there's a huge amount of need for more servers as they're all pretty much full at the moment on officials. So what else do you need to know? Well, there are a small amount of patch notes tied to the PC version. Not 100% sure if it's gone live for Xbox and PlayStation. According to the actual forum, no, this is only available on PC, but there are some fixes. You would expect there to be a lot more coming with maybe this new map, maybe a bunch of other stuff resolved, but it does look like the crucial one that I've been complaining about the last few days, like the Dragon Boss being invisible, has been fixed at least on PC on major version. And if you somehow missed it, Wildcard have officially revealed that yes, there is new paid individual dinosaur DLCs coming. These are not paid mods, these are made by Wildcard themselves, they get all the money and they're going to be releasing them. Quite expensive, I think, for just one dinosaur, 425 basically 5 bucks. Is it going to be worth it? Do you want to carry on supporting devs even though they're so slow with updates and Ark Ascended is anything but a real remaster? Let me know. As for the center, it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna be diving in as soon as possible. I might even go live, checking out the two new teams, the Shasta and this guy. This is the Pyromane. This is the new dinosaur that's gonna cost you five bucks. It's pretty OP. It can walk on lava. It can do a fire dash. And when it's a smaller, tiny little kitten, it can be used as a mobile flamethrower. Yeah, these fancy creatures look to be added to all official maps except for the island. So we're going to see one of these with every community map. And who knows, they may add even more for the center and other maps. It might not just be relegated just to one with each launch. They could potentially go higher. as nothing was said about exactly how many they're going to be adding. No season pass. This isn't included with your adventure packs. This is in addition to that season pass you've bought. I'm all for supporting games I love and games that get regular updates and are cared for. But let's face it, Wildcard do not care for ARK in the right manner. They're probably one of the worst supporting devs I've seen of a game. When it comes to bug fixes, information, and basically just all rounds making sure that the game is healthy and stable. But the kitty does kind of look cool. So here it is for what it's worth, the patch notes that have gone live on PC, like I said. And again, if they haven't got this going for Xbox and PlayStation, why not? Why can you get DLC ready? Why can you get a brand new map ready? But you can't add this to Xbox and PlayStation. I guess we'll have to see once you jump on. Is there a new tent model? Is there a brand new thatch triangle roof or thatch roof corner? These will be the easiest ways to work out if or not you've had an update on Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, reduce the default cryofage activation timer from 300 seconds to 90 seconds. Unofficial servers configure this timer in game user settings in a cryopod fridge cooldown timer equals 90. Made improvements to creatures following so they are less likely to walk into the player and get them stuck when the server is under stress. Speculative fix for the dragon sometimes appearing as invisible during the boss fight. Fix a client crash when switching between the infantry tabs in an obelisk. Fix being able to equip offline players that do not own BTT with BTT cosmetics. Fix the visual hole that would appear when connecting multiple vacuum compartments and hiding all the frames. Fix manticore trophies for beta and alpha having incorrect textures. Fix being able to change the speed of held multi-use actions that allow players to instantly break out of bowlers. Fix the desync caused by the Oasis saw. Fix the server store when destroying large connected structures such as connected foundation spam. Fix as Savinctus sometimes not killing a creature when Activating its swallow ability, fix the Rastorus cloning cost being too high, fix multiple server crashes, fix multiple client crashes. I am going to make a point of this, and I know people hate me moaning because we just got something nice and exciting, but it's the same old shit. When a wild card going to start delivering on making the game as good as it can be rather than just making flashy new content? I checked with the Xbox and PlayStation, the amount of updates they've had since Arc Ascended released, they've only had like two or three major updates. Lots of minor fixes and stuff like this, but where's the big quality of life? Where's making Arc Ascended not like Arc Survival Evolved eventually becoming bug ridden and unplayable, especially on console? The game's been out nearly six and a half months now on consoles, and it does feel like they're still not getting the love, just like they never used to get the love on the previous version. And even PC, I still would expect a lot more quality of life updates added to improve the game by now. You've got time to add Wild West paid DLC, 
mod support and everything else. And I know that takes time, but surely there should be more chunkier updates with fixes. Let me know though, are you having fun with Arc Ascended? Do you not care about the bug fixes? Is it just nice to get some new content? And finally, a new map. I can't lie, that aside, and bear in mind I've just woke up, so I might be a bit more grumpier than normal. I am very looking forward to the centre. The centre map is my favourite map of all time. It's the one that made me a YouTuber back in the day covering Arc. And I'm very excited about trying it out again. So look out for Let's Plays and Showcases. I'm going to jump straight on and take a look at the Shasta. So until next time, Ratbags, laters.